All right, welcome to another review here at Total Toy Recon. Today we are dealing with the Marvel Legends in 3D Comic Magnino. This is a one-half scale resin bust. Um, sorry that I'm zoomed out so far, but this box is enormous. This box, very heavy by the way, it is almost 13 inches tall, 12 inches wide, and then please take my word for it, about nine inches deep. Magneto is enormous. So Legends in 3D, we see it there on the side of the box. We have number 280 of a thousand. Wow, 280 of a thousand, really cool. We have the history of Magneto, Eric Leshner here on the back. If you don't know who Magneto is, I don't understand why you're watching, but I appreciate it, but thank you so much. Um, we did get a couple of uh, nicks here on the box, but let's hope everything's okay. Uh, General Giant and Diamond Select did send this out to us, so we're gonna open them up. Let's see how cool Magneto really is. All right, so we're opening this styrofoam coffin here. And as I said earlier, he is enormous, um, very heavy. Um, we've done a couple of these busts before. I mean, we've really run the gauntlet of Marvel characters at this point. So please check out our reviews. Black Panther, uh, The Incredible Hulk are, are two great ones that we did. Now, we're never really sure if the chip, if the tooth was chipped on the Hulk or not, but you can watch the video. I kind of like that it was chipped. Dear God. All right, let's get him out. All right, so we're at a normal angle now. We're going to bring him in. What I'm really digging immediately is first the color of red. I mean, I I wish that Diamond and uh, Gentle Giant did some uh, DC guys more often than they do. This red here would be a perfect red for a red helmet. Um, for the Joker, for Jason Todd, it's just the red is fantastic. Love the purple cape. Love the studs here coming through. And then there's like a chain mail. It's like a groove. You can feel it right in here. It's awesome. And then this material here, I'm mean not material, the detail to actually have the hair come down through the helmet in the back. Chef's kiss. Really, really fantastic job. Um, before we turn them around, we do have our letter of authenticity that proves we have 280. It is designed by Joe Allard and sculpted by Sandro Luz Sampaio. Um, we've done a lot of Joe Allard stuff. Really, really great. Um, this name is new to me, so he may be new over there. Forgive me, Sandro, if you are not new and I just haven't noticed you before, but I appreciate the work that you've done and I haven't even turned this thing around yet. So here we go. Ooh, wow. He is heavy. He is really heavy. So great purple, as I had said, the purple, purple, purple. We've got a lot of, uh, styrofoam residue dust basically so be warned it's not it's not scratches in the paint anything it's just styrofoam residue it could even be from my hands from opening three or four of these now um love the contrast in the red down here against the purple not so much this red but just a different red now i've said it in a lot of my reviews lately it's all about the base and look at this Xavier School for the Gifted Youngsters or Children. I'm guessing it's youngsters. But the metal, the pieces, everything. Like he formed it himself and made it like Magneto would be like, this is what my best bus is going to rest on. We've got these gears. Great detail. We've got wires. This thing is really heavy. Like if you wanted a paperweight, this is it. Steel rods going down here. You can even see them all the way up into the detail there. I'm sorry it's so dark really nice we've got rust we've got different colors now we're gonna get bring him in closer here a little bit we'll tilt him back look at these teeth so we've got the eyes he's clearly doing the his power he's definitely in full-on attack mode here just a lot of dust residue it's not dirt it's not bad paint it's just dust sharp edges here on this fantastic helmet but the teeth the gums all that and then we got the eyebrows again so you don't the only hair you really see is this what's coming through here on the back behind the helmet and then his eyebrows and that's it this is a fantastic piece this re retails for 175 it is worth every penny if you are a fan of the x-men if you love him as a villain or as a hero this is the one you need he is fantastic this is old school magneto not the one that's been you know, the hero back and forth, and he's, oh, not this, and then during Secret Wars, he was kind of a good guy, and then he's running a school new, yeah. I mean, it's great to see the character evolve, but when it breaks down to it, he was, like, the villain against the X-Men, and that's what this bust is a representation of, and that's why I love it. So, Spa from Total Recon, thanking Diamond Select for sending this out. 
This is a must-have if you're a fan of the X-Men, if you're a fan of Magneto. Would I love to see one done with Ian McKellen? Hell yes. Probably never going to happen. Maybe for the 30th anniversary of the X-Men or the 40th or whatever, they'll do that. Really nice bust. Definitely worth your money. And this is like, this is a centerpiece that you don't put anything around. You have one of those big like square like bookshelves and you have like different things in each one. This one sits in there by itself. That's how grand it is. Thank you.